Today we will discuss about gel electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis is actually a technique that enables separation and analysis of charged molecules in an electric field. Gel electrophoresis is mostly used for separation and purification of proteins and nucleic acids that differ in size, charge and conformation. So here is our electrophoresis tank. Electrophoresis enables to distinguish DNA fragment of different size. DNA is negative charge and therefore when we apply electric current to the gel, DNA migrate towards the positive electrode. Here, shorter strand of DNA move quickly through the gel than longer fragment and they result in the fragment being arranged in the order of size and here we also use fluorescent dye or tag that enables the DNA on the gel to be seen after they have been separated and they appear in the form of bands. A DNA marker with fragment of known length is usually run through the gel at the same time as other sample. So, after gel electrophoresis, by comparing band of DNA samples with this DNA marker, we can easily work out the approximate length of the DNA fragment in the samples. Here is our microbial samples. From this sample, we isolate our DNA. After DNA isolation, we do PCR amplification. After amplification, then we perform restriction enzyme digestion. Here, restriction and the nucleases restrict the DNA fragments. Then, after restriction digestion, we perform gel electrophoresis to find out the approximate size of the DNA fragments. Then, now let's see how gel electrophoresis is carried out. First, we prepare our agarose solution agarose is typically used to visualize dna fragment here agarose concentration used to make the gel depend on the size of the dna fragment you are working with the higher agarose concentration the denser the matrix so smaller dna fragments are separated on higher concentration of agarose while larger molecules require a lower concentration of agarose so to make a gel we use agarose powder and mix it with an electrophoresis buffer and then we heat it to high temperature until our agarose powder has melted then we pour our melted agarose to the gel casting tray and place comb after gel solidification we remove our combs and they create pores Then we place our gel into an electrophoresis tank and electrophoresis buffer poured into the tank until the surface of the gel covered with electrophoresis buffer. Here the buffer conduct the electric current and buffer type always depend on the approximate size of the DNA in the sample. Next before we load our DNA samples into the well we add dye to DNA samples. This dye will increase the viscosity of the sample which prevent it from floating out of the wells so that migration of the sample through the gel can be seen. Here after loading samples we place our tray in a gel electrophoresis tank and apply electric current. The negative electrode always placed near the side of the sample and the positive electrode is placed on the other side DNA has negative charge and they move from negative electrode to the positive electrode smaller DNA molecules here moves faster compared to larger fragments once the DNA has migrated far enough across the gel we switch off the electric current and the gel is removed from the electrophoresis tank to, to visualize the DNA 
द जेल इज स्टेन विद द फ्लोरिस एंड दाई दैट बाइंग टू द डी एन ए एंड देन वी प्लेस आवर जेल इन एन अल्ट्रा वायरल ट्रांस एलोमिनेटर विच शो अप द स्टेन डी एन ए एज ब्राइट बैंड एंड देन वी कंपेयर आवर डी एन ए सैम्पल्स विद द डी एन ए मार्कर एंड वी कैन इजली फाइंड आउट द साइज ऑफ द डी एन ए इन द सैम्पल बाई मैचिंग दैम अगेंस्ट द क्लोजस्ट बैंड इन द मार्कर नाउ रेस्ट समराइज द मेन स्टेप्स इन चेल इलेक्ट्रोफोरेस फर्स्ट इज प्रिपेयरिंग आवर एगरोज सोल्यूशन एडिंग एगरोज पाउडर दैन बॉइलिंग कूलिंग एंड एडिंग एथीरियम और माइड एंड देन वी मिक्स द फ्लास्क थॉरली एंड देन वी पोर आवर एगरो सोल्यूशन टू द कास्टिंग थ्रे हैविंग कॉम एंड वी अलाउ इट टू सोलिफाई आफ्टर सोलिफिकेशन वी रिमूव कॉम एंड एड इन द रनिंग बफर एंड देन वी लो डी एन ए मार्कर एंड आवर डी एन ए सैम्पल्स एंड देन वी रन जेल एट अ कॉन्सटेंट वोल्टेज एंटिल बैंड सेपरेशन अकर दैन वी विजुअलाइज डी एन ए ऑन यू वी लाइट बॉक्स एंड दे शो रिजल्ट जेल इलेक्ट्रोफ्रेसिव है to find evidence in criminal cases and they also have to determine paternity and they can be used to diagnose genetic diseases and also used to compare similarities and differences between different species gel electrophoresis also have many advantages and disadvantages as well like small amount of starting dna material is required and dna can be detected regardless of the size of the dna and the drawback is they are hazardous material and they are expensive and they are very time consuming so it's all about jet electrophoresis